really don't consider myself as a watch collector, but rather a watch enthusiast. I do not have a specific criteria or type of watch that I'm looking for at this point and I would like to enjoy different type of watches or watch designs that is offered by many watch brands. But when a watch brand understood the importance of simplicity and focus on the execution, making every aspect of the watch elegantly made, the result can be perfect to one's eye. And to me, I consider this piece in that category. Before I learned about the Black Bay 36, I was looking around for a Rolex Explorer. And it was late for me as the price is already skyrocketed due to the demand and I can see that why. The year is 2019 when I decided to pull the trigger on the Black Bay 36 and I was excited to wear it after the purchase and after the 80 resize it to my wrist. At that time I feel the watch is already a keeper. Three years after I still treasure it. Despite of the new release of the Rolex Explorer, this watch and my Seiko Alpinist 1959 recreation gave me contentment and for some reason my hunt for Rolex Explorer is fading away. Though the movement of the watch is ETA 2894 top grade and highly modified and decorated by Tudor and close to the chronometer grade, I do not have any problems with it. Probably because I love the design and the layout where it took the inspiration from the Submariner by removing the bezel and call it a day. In my opinion, that worked for me. I don't know about for some of us, but I believe there's a lot of audience for this piece. At first, I bought this watch because I couldn't get a hold of the Rolex Explorer, but then three years after, it does not feel the same way, as to me the Black Bay 36 has its own identity. There can be many of us think that the Black Bay 36 is a boring watch or a boring piece or it doesn't even know what it wants either sporty or dress watch but to me I see this piece as a sporty and that's it. Going to the specifications of the watch and as the name suggests it is 36 millimeter diameter 44 millimeter lug to lug distance and 11 millimeter thickness and with the 19 millimeter lug width the Oyster bracelet is nicely done and decently tapered to 16mm on the clasp. With female end length, the watch sits perfectly on my 150mm circumference wrist. And the clasp offers 3 micro adjusts. Although, how I wish the T-Fit clasp was available or even offered during the time I purchase it. Now on the dial, I appreciate the glossy black lockered application rather than a black matte finish as it gives the watch a sophisticated look even though it is a sporty one tool design. Then the case is immaculately polished on the side and brushed on top of the lugs then polished again on the bezel. The details does not stop there as you can see the chamfered edges between the side and the top of the lugs which is clearly you are owning a premium piece that puts a smile on every person wearing it. The 36mm size, make no mistake, is a small watch, but surely it is a chunky one, and you can feel the presence when on the wrist. The clasp is perfectly balanced in my opinion, but I think a different feature is a push although it is a welcome treat. I guess I don't think we can get away with a snowflake hands and I'm happy with it because that design decision is perfect for legibility especially in low light condition and top it up with BGW3 loom application which over time I hope will give a nice patina to it. Okay, many of the viewers watching this video do not subscribe on my channel. If you made it this far, please hit subscribe button now as it helps me to continue making this content in YouTube. Thank you. Back to the movement. Though I don't wear the watch on a daily basis but it is still part of my rotation so I barely remember that the watch stopped ticking. With that, I still see the performance of the movement within COSC parameter within plus 2 or minus 4 seconds per day or maybe I'm just lucky on my purchase. 
At some point, comparing the Black Bay 36 to Rolex Explorer is similar to comparing to your kids to one another and seeing most of the faults of the younger one and complimenting the eldest. It seems unfair for both because they have attributes that make them or makes them what they are. Though the two things that they have in common, one is simplicity and the other one is versatility. Both can be worn in any occasion and you could just get, get away with it. The understated feel of the watches doesn't mean even or doesn't mean nothing to be proud of, but rather the opposite, because the finishing lies on the details every time you stare on them, although I admit one is better than the other for obvious reasons, as you are paying more than double for it. Lastly, buying this piece does not mean that you cannot afford the Explorer. We have to admit or we have to be reminded that Hans Wilsdorf, the creator or the founder of Rolex, created this tutor for this very specific purpose. Without sacrificing the quality and enjoying the Rolex watchmaking experience, with many people are becoming aware what Tudor is heading for, and I can see them trying to make their brand independent to its parent company. And with that, getting this piece is a decision you understand not because you are influenced by anyone, and that is a win in my opinion. Now, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and comments below if you think you have the same experience with the Black Bay 36. Thank you and see you in the next one.